Kansas City Kansas City Commission. You don't rule this committee. Hmm. A contentious meeting regarding changing marijuana rules in KC Mole. Let's get right to 41 Actions reporter Andres Gutierrez, who was at that meeting. So, Andres, what happened there today? Well, Kevin, there usually isn't a high turnout from the public when it comes to committee meetings like the one that happened this morning. That wasn't the case today as the issue of pot was on the table. We're going to vote to get y'all out. This is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Y'all are wrong. Y'all are wrong. Committee. Emotions ran high today after a committee decided once again to hold a proposal that would loosen pot possession laws within Kansas City, Missouri. Because there's no rationale to put it, put it four weeks off. Under council member Brandon Ellington's proposal, a person would not be fined if they had less than 100 grams of marijuana. We're not talking about the cartel leaders. We're not talking about major uh, drug traffickers. We're talking about people that get any anywhere between a, a C to a B felony. Last fall, the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office said it would no longer prosecute minor pot possession cases with a few exceptions. Uh, is there anyone uh, that has not spoken that wishes to speak uh, in opposition to this ordinance? While the current proposal has an overwhelming amount of support, law enforcement have their concerns. If the ordinance passed here, they believe they can possess up to 100 grams. They could be traveling throughout the city and they could get stopped in one of those other three counties where there's been no policy decisions made about not prosecuting under the or over 35 grams, but under the 100 grams. KCPD points out that so far this year, 10 homicides have been directly motivated by marijuana. There are disputes, arguments over marijuana, whether it be the cell, uh, the possession of it, um, trying to, we call them dope rips. While the committee considers the intricacies of this proposal, its sponsor is calling for more supporters. Whenever you have this many people that don't typically get engaged in local politics, that come out and get involved in local politics, I don't see it as a setback. I see it as a win. And now the discussion picks up back again four weeks from today on October 23rd. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.